Rafting really brought this sense of importance to my life that I was kind of lacking before. Rafting brings me and all my friends together. I have a lot of good friends that I would say are like lifelong friends that I've formed good bonds with, so it's cool to have a bunch of like-minded people around in the same community. I wouldn't know like 98% of my friends if it wasn't for skateboarding. Every time I get hurt, I don't even care that like I can't skate. The fun of it just keeps bringing me back. With risk comes reward and with the things that I've always loved to do, there's, they've always been there and they're just part of it. I think in Ben's case, since this community is so outdoor rooted and so many people do outdoor sports, it just makes those things stronger for the community to make sure that when you do them, they're safe. Just part of it. And I've always told my mom, like, if I die rafting I, or snowboarding, like, I died doing something that I love. I decided to move to Bend because I have been traveling a lot for the past couple of years. The community here is really awesome and I'm surrounded by all things outside. And Bend offers all of it. For fun, I like to go hiking, like on my days off with my dog. I go climb at Smith Rock. I started going to a rock gym in Grants Pass. But then when I moved here, I bought my own climbing gear just to get more into it and someone saw me carrying my rope one day and I got invited to go climbing with like a group of people and I was down and then we just started going together. 98% of the people I know full stop I've met through skating and like it just it has brought like my social circle like so much better. I got into river surfing by just the ocean. I grew up on the ocean and so when I moved to Bend I just love the idea of just being in the water all the time and I continue that love by river surfing. I love to surf with my friends. I started surfing later in life and it kind of got me hard and when I did it I bought and sold a bunch of surfboards in a short amount of time. The, the river wave is a really good place to like build board skills for, for the ocean, actually. I get this feeling of just pure power when I'm on the back of the boat, like guiding a bunch of people down. It makes me feel important and in charge and makes me feel smart. It's something that I can do with my friends, like anywhere that I go. My favorite thing to do in Bend, probably surf in the river wave in the summertime. And in the wintertime, I like to snowboard. I do want to get into skiing this year. I have never tried skiing before. I like to try new things and I feel like if I really do like skiing, it could be something I could get really good at. Learning a new sport is always scary, especially when everyone around you knows how to do it. Well, friendships here in Bend, I feel like everybody I've met over the past couple years is kind of into the same stuff I am. If you're not into outdoorsy stuff, I mean, most of those people don't live in Bend. By joining the ski community, I hope to find friends that I can go with every season, just because I know it's so popular here and I want to be able to take part in that as much as I can. From the perspective of people who, who don't climb and don't do a lot of outdoor sports, it, it seems really dangerous because sometimes it is. There was a tragedy, which was very, very unfortunate, and it affected everyone, myself included. What happened to Ben was really anomalous, and there was definitely like some problem with the engineering of the shaping apparatus at that time, but people had surfed on that wave hundreds of thousands of times before. 
They closed down the wave for a couple months and then when they got it back open, they had like surveyed it and fixed something that was wrong with it. People had known something was wrong with it for years and they had just never fixed it until like there was an accident. I was never really like too worried about it. I've been like around the water my whole life, so I feel pretty comfortable in the water. There's a lot less people at first surfing the wave because people were like more scared. And it's like understandable. If someone dies somewhere, it's like, it's a little different vibe when you go back into it. But it felt pretty good to be like back on the water again and be able to do that, it's something I love. I broke my pelvis when I was 18. I was out of rafting for two months. I was super sad, really depressed. The only thing that I could think about was how I was just ready to get on the back of a boat again. You come out of it and you look cool, man. <laughs> Despite the risk for skiing, I know that there can be a lot of things that can go wrong, but I also think that about a lot of things in life, and so I feel like I want to get better at it, so it's like I'd rather just take the risk now and learn while I'm still young. You know all the things that can happen to you. I feel like you hear all the stories and like it could never be me. And then when you keep, when it's something that you do every day, you know, it becomes more prevalent, right? I had this really good buddy named Alex and he fell out of the boat at the second part of the rapid called Triple Drop. And there's a sieve off to the left and he got sucked straight through it um, and he never came out. Man, I mean, it's tough, you know? We all know what we're doing and sometimes stuff happens, but I think it just kind of goes back to like, he died doing something that he really enjoyed doing. When I'm struggling with something, I need to take some time alone and I need to be outside. Something about trees and rocks and water just is healing for the soul. I wish I had the exact answer how to cope with struggles, but I think for everybody it is different. But that also goes back to just having people that you love and that support you. And then if you have that and a good support system, I think you can get through anything. I feel like all my friends are pretty good friends. Uh, like if I'm just feeling down, or if I'm going through some stuff, I know I always got like people I could count on around me. Any time that I go to hang out with my friends, we are always doing something outside. I just have really cool friends and all my really cool friends like doing really cool things. I just feel like everyone's super adventurous, obviously. No one really just wants to sit around and do nothing. It's outdoorsy, no matter what season it is. I don't want to like hold myself from doing fun things just for the risk of getting hurt. Climbing is one of those sports where it's definitely always a possibility, like you're high up if you don't have the right equipment and the right people that you're climbing with, then it can be really dangerous. When I climb with my friends, we always have the right padding, the right kind of ropes, uh, someone who always knows what they're doing. It's a lot of trust in that, but I guess it's a risk that I'm willing to take. With the whole Ben Murphy situation, we were all shaped by the incident and definitely you can tell a few things are different. I think we've all been surfing out there and we just never thought that really could happen. And you know, you never know anyone's gonna die until someone dies and you're like, oh my God, like this is real. It was early, early season in the, in the spring. So everyone there um, was kind of actually a central member of the community. I heard people start shouting, call 911, Ben was, was stuck and I could see he was he was fighting. He was pretty pretty close to the surface of the water, but his foot was stuck um, up river somewhere on the on the wave. And I just felt totally powerless, you know, like I I couldn't do anything in that moment. And obviously like everyone else in the water couldn't do anything about it either. Someone had actually called um, Ryan, the Whitewater Park manager to try to get the wave collapsed faster. Ryan uh, then began to lower the gates underneath the green wave, which released Ben's foot out of the uh, of its entrap position. That night at the hospital, he actually, his heart did begin beating again. 
but it was only for a moment. It was it was pretty clear that that he was he was under for too long. Almost everyone that was there that day returned to reconcile with the wave. I became friends with uh, Ben Murphy's dad, Patrick Murphy, and remain friends to this day. Patrick wanted to work on a board that him and Ben had talked about and were planning on building, and I kind of gave him some guidance and invited him in to do it here. Now we're friends, which I'm really fortunate for. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. You can take a moment of silence for Ben. Sure. I could get hit by a bus tomorrow and that would be it. And we never know. Like we never know when we're, you know, when our life is going to be over. Living every day like it's your last is a really important mantra of mine. The only thing that I can be certain about is who I am and the people that I surround myself with and how I choose to spend my time. If you don't say yes to things, then you'll never know like what you could experience. And I think that's important for adulthood is there's there's a lot of anxiety about making the right decisions. And like the reality is that you're gonna make a lot of wrong decisions, but some of those wrong decisions will make for good memories. The possibilities as I get older, I realize there's a lot more you could do with your life. So, I mean, no matter where you end up, it's like there's always something else you could be doing out there. What scares me about life? Uh, I feel like not knowing what I'm doing, but I just have to remind myself that I'm like only 20 years old and I have so much time to figure it out. But I would say like financially, I get kind of scared <laughs> because I'm just young and broke. Ah, uh, figuring out money and jobs and not getting to just like do whatever you want whenever you want. Living on your own is just a uh, whole list of things, grown up responsibilities the real world. You don't have to figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life right now. Like, that comes later. Just take your time, live your life, be a kid for as long as you can. I like to think that there's a lot more possibilities and good outcomes that can come out of life rather than the things that can go wrong. Today's day and age is a lot more lenient on people that don't know what they're doing and that they have time to figure it out. As of now, I feel like I'm pretty confident in who I am and that has to do with like where I've traveled, where I've gone and like the experiences I've had. It helps to have outlets, being so busy and then being able to go outside and just look at the world. It lets a lot of insight in. There's lots of help wherever you look for it. Humans can be really beautiful. And they know a lot. Love brings my friends and all of us together. And love can go many directions. Love could go for sports. Love can go for just hanging out in a small circle. Love is beautiful and I really think we are lucky to be able to love. I was waiting in the undertow 